Our guest today is Canadian-based makeup artist and influencer Bailey Vanderveen. Bailey is a BMC Global Makeup Artist graduate who specializes in bridal makeup and hairstyling, special effects and prosthetics. Throughout her successful career, Bailey has worked on various projects including commercials and prints with Corona Beer, Manitoba Hydro, eCanada, CTV and many others. In fact, her expertise in her craft has even led her to teaching media master classes at multiple Canadian makeup schools. Welcome to the show, Bailey. What made you gravitate towards becoming a makeup artist? I think my pure talent and the <laughs> ability to want to learn to like make myself look pretty every day. I feel like this is so fun. Like, how can I not want to be a makeup artist? This is my job. Okay, <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> how did you get your start in pursuing makeup artistry professionally? Um, I actually moved to Vancouver and I went to Blanche McDonald out there and when I was in school I kind of just got involved in YouTube and social media and it just kind of flourished from there and here I am now. <laughs> A superstar. superstar. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> A pseudo superstar. <laughs> On your YouTube channel, you have so many different makeup looks ranging from simple everyday style and makeup to some really creative Halloween looks. Of your looks that you've created over the years, which is your favorite? Oh my God, I don't even know. Oh, you know what? Maybe my nun or else I also have a vampire makeup look on my YouTube channel that was really popular and I feel like that might be my favorite. Maybe all of them. How am I supposed <laughs> to choose? That's like choosing a favorite child. I, I can't choose that. Nope. <laughs> Well, you specialize in bridal makeup and hairstyling on the one hand and special effects and prosthetics makeup on the other. Of these two styles, they're quite different. What draws you to bridal hair and makeup and special effects and prosthetics makeup? What, what is drawing you to both? Because they're just so different. Well, I would say bridal makeup is more popular. I never thought that I would be doing bridal hair and makeup. But I actually like really love it. Like I love waking up at 5 a.m. every Saturday and getting to work. And I think it's just important to be versatile as a makeup artist. Like if you want something disgusting with blood, I can do it. If you want something beautiful and gorgeous and feeling like you're most extravagant, I can do that too. It's like the best of both worlds. But I think, I don't know, my heart is in special effects because I love that. But I also love bridal. I don't know. I love when I see someone and they just feel so beautiful. I'm like, I did that. And I love that. <laughs> well, you've worked with so many different brands on a range of different projects. What project was your favorite to work on this far? Oh, gosh. Um, I did a, a, a campaign with NYX Cosmetics for their Total Control Drop Foundation. And we did like a big photo shoot. It was like printed out in a calendar with a bunch of Canadian influencers, um, like depending on their like skin tone. I was February because I'm definitely the lightest. <laughs> and that was probably my favorite because I have the whole calendar here too. And it's something that I like get to look back on and it's cute. So for February, did, did you have a very, uh, I don't know, Valentine's Day kind of look? Like, no, kind of like what you're wearing now? No, we were all just like neutral and just like showing off the foundation pretty much. So like in all different skin tones because there were like 30 colors or something. It was just a really wow. fun shoot and just like a, it was just good energy around that campaign. Can you tell me about your makeup look today? It's it's beautiful. Well, we did a little pink moment and euphoria is very popular these days. So we did a little gemming, a little stoning which takes forever, but I brought it out for you. And yeah, it's just like pink, somewhat monochromatic, which is really popular these days. So I just thought I'd bring the trends for you. You're saying basically like add a lot of rhinestones, add some bright colors and pinks and purples. What's your perspective on all of this? Well, with Euphoria, it's mostly the rhinestones that are super popular. A big trend like now with makeup is very either monochromatic or just all pretty much neutrals. We're not seeing like much like bold like lips anymore, like especially for Valentine's Day. Like that's kind of out. It's mostly just like monochromatic and nude. So meaning that your eyes, your cheeks and your lips would all kind of be the exact same color, which I almost have that going on, but I went a little darker with the lip just because I wanted to be nice and pouty, you know? <laughs> So if someone's going on a date for Valentine's Day, what kind of makeup look should they go for? I mean, I would wear this personally, but I'm not getting many dates these days. So I don't know. I would probably do something like your everyday kind of makeup, but like jazz it up a bit. I mean, if you are going on a Valentine's Day, it is a holiday. Why not just wear what you want to wear? I would wear this like hands down. I might go on a date later. So I'd wear this. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Is there a particular brand or individual that you'd love to collaborate with in the future? Uh, I 
think the end all be all is probably like either Patrick Ta, which is like the end all be all for a celebrity makeup artist, or else no, Patrick Ta. It's the end all be all for me. I would love to just like either be his assistant or have him do my makeup. I just want to learn from him. He's the best. Now, makeup can be very competitive, and you're very creative, you're very innovative, you're always coming up with different ideas all the time, really pushing the boundaries. Have you faced any challenges in this line of work? I mean, being creative, like trying to find something unique that no one has done before, that's always very difficult, but you just like grab little bits from everyone, you know, a little inspiration from here, a little inspiration from there, and then you just create. Like when I do a makeup look, I never really have a plan. I just kind of dig out some palettes of colors that I like and I slap it on my face and call it a day. And then this <laughs> happens, so. <laughs> that is beautiful. <laughs> that's honest. <laughs> Do you have any advice for those who are inspired by your work and want to pursue makeup artistry professionally? The only advice I would have is just keep pushing yourself to like post on social media and keep creating looks because practice makes perfect and you're not going to be the best you can be unless you continue practicing and that's that's w w what I did and sometimes I look back at like looks from like four years ago I'm like what was I doing? Like <laughs> I don't know about that but then when you get to compare from then to now, it's like it's like the best feeling when you actually grow as an artist. So that's my advice. Take well, photos. Do you have any upcoming projects that our viewers can look forward to? Um, I have a couple sponsorships coming out on my Instagram, so I guess stay tuned for those. Click the link in the bio. So <laughs> thank <laughs> I'm so excited, Bailey. Uh, thank you so much for coming on the show. We really appreciate it, and we look forward to seeing some more of your makeup looks. Uh, thank you for having me. Mwah. And thank you to our viewers at home for tuning in. This is Julia Cosby and you're watching Inbox. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to keep up to date with all of our latest content.